What's up guys and welcome to another YouTube video by bestgamingmonitorshq.com Today we're going to talk about what is SLI. You might have heard of SLI or you might not have. We're going to talk about how it works, uh, this configuration, some performance advantages, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So uh, what is SLI? SLI stands for Scalable Link Interface. So, Scalable Link Interface, or SLI, is the name of NVIDIA's multi-GPU solution device for NVIDIA video cards. It allows for parallel processing to use up to four video cards for a computer to process its graphics. By sharing the workload between multiple video cards instead of a single one, the video processing power of a computer can be increased and multiplied for a lower cost than buying a single premium video card. <laughs> How SLA, SLI works. SLI increases the performance and video processing power of a computer through parallel processing to share the workload of the computer. This is done by effectively splitting the work between multiple GPUs, each of which share the workload. However, the workload is shared in a variety of different ways. There are two primary rendering options, split frame rendering and alternate frame rendering. To put it simply, split frame rendering works by splitting each frame into two parts horizontally and allowing each GPU to work half of the screen in a two GPU SLI setup. This allows the GPU in SLI to carry the workload of half the screen for each individual frame. On the other hand, alternate frame rendering works by having each GPU in SLI render the entire frame which ideally would mean double the performance. However, there is a risk of input latency. This means that while split frame rendering doesn't scale as well with the architecture and geometry compared to alternate frame rendering, it is better for action games where it is hard to predict and produce the next frame. This customization can be adjusted to suit the needs of the user when the graphic cards are in SLI setup. Configuration. For cards to work in an SLI configuration, there must be, they must be of the same GPU series and model name. This is because in parallel processing, the workload of the computer is divided evenly between the cards, meaning that the graphics power of the machine can only be, can only be double that of the working weaker card. However, there are no limits on card manufacturers, models, BIOS revisions, or clock speeds. In addition, for users with multiple screen setups, the SLI supports up to three screens of the same resolution, while Affinity supports much more, up to six. NVIDIA advertises SLI configurations operating in alternate frame rendering to have the processing power of 1.9 times a single GPU. Not quite two, just about. While the figure may be closer to 80% in operation due to driver inefficiencies and optimization problems when running two or more cards, that is still a noticeable performance boost over that of a single, single card. And furthermore, the price of two video cards of the last generation can often be significantly less than the price of a single current generation video card. This is particularly true for NVIDIA, which has had supply issues with its latest line of video cards. In addition, NVIDIA has arguably the best driver and software support in the industry, which can help with game optimization. The list of current generation SLI optimized games include titles such as Metro, Last Light, Assassin's Creed 3, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, Borderlands 2, and Dishonored, among hundreds of other titles. For example, Users running dual GTX 670 cards in an SLI setup can expect a score of 5497 in 3D Mark compared to 2851. <sighs> that is enough to run current generations such as Battlefield 4 and Skyrim at ultra with average frame per second of over 100. That's what I'm talking about. So we went over how SLI works, we talked about some configuration, we talked about performance, and, uh, you know, SLI is awesome. Do I like it as much as Ifinity? No, I don't. But 
I'm just one person and I have an opinion. So I've noticed that some games are optimized for SLI and uh, some games actually do much better with Ifinity. So do your own research. Read around on the forums and uh, see what other people are getting for test results. Once again, this is Best Gaming Monitors HQ. Don't forget to check out our website at www.bestgamingmonitorshq.com. Peace out.